in the same Carney study, um, executives basically uh, reflected that um, a regenerative business model would require one to basically heavily leverage data and also leverage data in ways that are a lot more advanced than what we're doing, right? So AI comes into the picture and you also um, rightly referred to Capo now being an asset management company in asset management and presumably investments and deployments of funds, global players have been using data and yep. AI. Um, so how, how do you see, uh, given all the trends towards technology um, development, um, how, how would you leverage on this um, trends and the technology developments to bring capital to the next level with regards to leveraging data to basically regenerate your business? AI is not new to us. You know, at every part we have used artificial intelligence or machine learning to be able to understand behaviors better, to be able to make decisions better. It's the gen AI space which I think is new. Mm -hmm. uh, and to me, I think uh, it might be a little premature at this point in time to understand mm -hmm. how uh, gen AI uh, will um, transform the business or how what opportunities will gen AI present uh, going forward. Uh, but to that effect, you know, what we've done at Keppel now is we formed an AI forum. Mm. Uh, the whole idea of AI forum is to be able to create two things. One, uh, you know, everybody wants to do something on AI and Gen AI, uh, but we have to do it responsibly. How do you allow for people to be able to uh, dabble mm. in AI and Gen AI mm. without compromising uh, security or without compromising uh, data uh, is something that we are very uh, cautious about. Uh, so this whole AI forum is to be able to understand and uh, bring in new technologies, whether it's coming from everybody has their own um, Gen AI model. Uh, so for us to be able to then create this forum where we can use these multiple technologies on multiple use cases, mm. create specific sandboxes mm. where people can go and try and understand what works and what does not work mm. and then be able to un uh, learn from there and then explode it within the organization mm. to a larger scale mm. where then you start looking at it being applied for uh, either asset management or on operating platform side. Mm. So at this point in time, our AI forum is something that we are building just to understand what uh, is the future going to look like, mm. what part of technology uh, is more helpful to our business going forward mm. and how do we experiment with it, mm. learn as we experiment and then uh, take it to a larger scale mm. and apply it. Mm. And I would like to link this very forward looking topic of AI to um, what we discussed earlier about data literacy. Would there be any challenges with regards to getting the right talents to either work and be able to experiment and work on AI, uh, be able to leverage data better in your everyday operations? Is, 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 that, is talents um, a challenge for you or do you think that is actually something that um, you know, Capo is well ahead of the game with regards to. I think being able to train and upskill our own people mm. is as important as getting in fresh talent from the outside. Mm. Uh, and if not more, uh, because even at M1, uh, we, when we did this whole transformation and we created our own data model and, and our data lake and you know, how do we, how do we assess customer uh, behavior and you know, do the next best action and so on and so forth. Um, we actually retrained a lot of our own people to be mm. able to use that data mm. uh, who earlier were using data in a very uh, analog way, so to say. Mm. Mm. Uh, and how do you uh, train them to be able to use more digital ways of uh, data analysis and so on and so forth. We were very successful in training our own people to be able to use the new technology mm. uh, and make use of it. Um, mm. Similarly, I think at Keppel as well, for example, we do have an offshore development center mm. Mm. in Malaysia. Um, where we are doing uh, some part of our digital work in Malaysia, mm. where we have our data scientists and mm. data engineers. Mm. Um, and we also have develop software developers, uh, software architects, mm. uh, and so on and so forth. Mm. But to me, reskilling and uh, retraining people mm. and making them ready for the future ways of working mm. is far more important than uh, hiring f just fresh talent to augment uh, whatever needs to be done in the future. In your role as Capo Chief Digital Officer, what would you say would be your major priorities going forward? 
Uh, like we discussed, I think uh, in this uh, new vision, vision 2030 that we have, uh, I think to make it successful, digitalization is going to be extremely critical. Uh, like I said, the, the centerpiece of this, uh, of this vision is to be an asset manager mm. uh, with uh, expertise in operating platforms. Uh, and I think uh, um, to enhance business on the asset management side, there's a lot of work that needs to be done on the digitalization front, which we are doing. Data will play an extremely important role. So how do we harmonize data? How we democratize data? Mm. Uh, how do we make sure that it's a data-led organization with high levels of data literacy? Mm. And then, of course, equally important that as we become more digital, as we use more data, how do we protect it? Mm. How do we make sure that we are secure? Mm. Um, so these three things, I think, are going to be extremely important going forward for me mm. in this role. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck on your role. So um, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Sungi. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.